Yo, what's going on guys, in this video we're going to be doing Hannah from Hacky My VM. This is Black Sword of Val Easy. And yeah, let's get on to the video. So I'm sorry about my terminals here. I'm sorry running a and it's cover room minus R, 10 and 0 and 0 dot 1 slash 24 slash IT 0. Do this, we do keep type in the box, 10 and 0 is 177, so do control shift Z, so bring map scan. So do MMISSC for default scripts, my system for automation, we scan on ports and IP. Doing this, I'll do my Z verbos. Since this does take a long time to run, I'm just going to more into output.txe. Looking at the MAPS scan, we do have uh, port 22 open for SSH. So we're in Debian, port 8 open for HTTP. For NGINX, we also do have an auth owners for Moksha, and also a uh, another user here for root. We have port 113 for ident, and we do have robots.txe. So I'm sorry, we're port 80. Here we do get uh, under construction here, so I'm going to control your source code. It doesn't seem like anything, so I'm starting some more numeration. We're gonna get GoBuster. So GoBuster the remote minus zero into the IP address. We'll do minus to be for user share word list. The buster directory list to the medium dot txe. Do such as HTML, txe, and also PHP. Here we're gonna get index HTML and also a robots.txe. Some of us are robots.txe. We do get a directory here for slash enlightenment. And it does seem like we do get a 404 not found. Looking back at that map scan. We did have two users here for Moksha and also for Root. Since we do have a user as Moksha, I'm just going to run Hydra against that as suburb brute forcing. So do Hydra minus L. We'll do the user for Moksha. We'll do minus P for user share wordless rocku.txe. We'll do SSH 10.0.0.177 port 22 minus I. So we start session. Doing this, we can wait and see what we get. So after a while, we do get a login for Moksha. I'm going to select a password for HANA. So I'm just going to SSH into Moksha at 10.0.0.177. We just have the password as Hannah. We do ID. Now we're the Moksha. So we're running a sort of my cell. Doesn't seem like we do anything. Um, um do us mentally. We do have our user.txe here. I'm just writing some manual information on our dub dub dub. HTML. Doesn't seem like we do anything. We do have a robots.txe. I'm just gonna check under we do have this under backups here. It doesn't seem like we do anything. Check under opt for my last directory. We don't have anything. So I'm seeding to slash dev shm. I'm just gonna let me get lint piece on here. So do http 10 on 0 0 70 on port 881. We'll get a lint piece dot sh. So do control o, control shift z. I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm seeding to my documents here. Go to privilege escalation. We do have a lint piece under here. I'm gonna do python 3 minus m http dot server on port 881. We do have the lint piece dot sh. So do sage amount of six for limpy.sh. And we can run that limpy.sh and I'll put this to a file.txe. So doing this, we can just wait and see the output for file.txe. So after a while, I'm just going to more into file.txe. So right now I'm going to be looking for anything that is in red or yellow, which is going to be the 99% P vector, right? You can also check this by looking at the legend. You'll see for red and yellow for 99% uh, privilege escalation vector. So it doesn't seem like we do anything so far. Under here, we do have a uh, cron job running as root. We do see that we do have touch, but if you notice about touch, we don't have a full path, right? We don't have the path that is, um, if I do, if I run a witch for touch, you will notice that we do have a path for user bin touch. And also do have other directory. So I'm just going to see it into the file system or do Alice my cell into the file system. You'll see that this is green. So we do have read and write and execute privileges on slash media. So look at this, we do have this uh, touch going to slash temp alignment. Anytime there is not a uh, full path for touch, it will go straight directly to this path on top. If you do cat out slash easy cron tab, you will see that we do have the path for user local sbin. And we also see that it's using touch right to touch this file for this alignment file. Since it doesn't have a path, it's going to go straight to, you know, this path right here. It's going to go user local sbin. User local bin, s bin, slash media, bin, user s bin, and user bin. But if you notice about this, the, the, there's, um, if you do it for touch, you have a user s, user bin right here. And the user bin is over here at the end. So we do know we do have slash media, which we do have read, write, and execute on that directory. So it means we can put our own binary. So when it does go through this path, you'll see that slash media is first. So it's going to execute our touch 
instead of this user bin touch, which is the original file, right? Let's start by doing that. So I'm cd back, I'm cd to the file system, I'm cd to media. Looking under here, I'm just going to touch, or I'll just nano actually, because we're using two commands, touch, touch, should work anyways. Uh, if I do touch, touch, you see the idea of touch, but I'm just going to nano into touch, right, to create a file. Under here, we can start by doing a bin slash bash. All I'm going to do is create a SQD binary or SQD bits at four slash bin slash bash. We want to make this executable, so we'll do chmod plus x for touch. We'll do chmod 7 to 7 for touch. Now you see that it's readable and writable by everyone, right? So we do chmod 7 to 7, chmod plus x so to make it executable. It does seem like we do have a cron job, so I'm just going to do a wallet room. I do want to I do want to do like Alice my LA under slash bin slash bash because since we do want to check um, if it does turn into SUID, right? And this I can just do done. And you already to see that the cron job did run. Now this is uh, you see we do have the SUID bit set. So now we can run a bin slash bash minus b. We do id now we're root so we can see it into root. Uh, I lay and kind of not txt. We'll get this in the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And now I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.